Hey guys, I'm recording the second video of the day which is about whether the travel ban is going to extend or not. So why I thought of making this video because I have been closely monitoring the events which are unfolding around this ban and also the politics of the ban. So there are certain things which uh, you should also know before uh, you know uh, you start assuming or making assumptions that whether this ban is going to extend or what. So the very basic first thing is like you can just see the number of cases. This is Canada. So it was low in July and all. Still they didn't lift the ban. Although in India the cases in July were like around 38,000. Still they didn't lift the ban and now you can see the rapid growth. Uh, you know in the cases so you can also see the cases of two weeks so how it has been increasing same i can say for india you can see the cases of last one week that it was constant and all but today it recorded like 46,000 cases so it has been like um, the, i don't know what variant or what this is but then the cases are increasing so that is the first thing the second thing which is into consideration is the Canadian elections. So Trudeau announced this election to happen on September 20th. From now, not even now, Trudeau announced like 38 days back because that is the campaign, campaign time uh, in Canada before the election and like uh, after they announce the election the assembly gets dissolved and no minister from Trudeau's cabinet is in capacity to take any administrative or legislative decision because just like India uh, as like before elections the election commission is head same there like the Canadian governor general is head of Canada right now so she is the only one who can you know take decision in regard to you know lifting the ban or what so this is the second thing which you should consider and also like the election is on September 20th it's definitely not gonna, uh, you know, results gonna get declared very next day or something. And now as because of COVID, many people, many Canadians are located outside Canada and they are accepting the paper ballot and all. I read it on Twitter, like Canadian uh, High Commission tw uh, tweeted that the, those Canadians who are in India and all, they can, uh, you know, vote from here or something like that. So paper ballots and including all those things, it is at least going to take three, four days. Uh, minimum 3-4 days to get uh, results in Canada and only after that only after the only after the new Prime Minister takes the oath then only uh, they can give or you know announce any decision but I think even the third thing which you should uh, look into is the screenshot which is being circulated on you know different forums and all those about this is a reply by Air Canada on I think this is uh, Facebook so someone asked like uh, that when India and Toronto flights are gonna get resumed so this guy whoever like Arthur said that it's the ban is there till October this guy asked like uh, so this is why UL is Montreal so if Montreal, if the ban is there in Montreal, I think it will be there in the whole Canada. So I, I, I can't, you know, verify your, the authenticity of this screenshot, but I saw it on social uh, different forums. It, it could be Photoshop or something, but then that's what it is. Considering all these factors, I think the ban is going to extend. Of course, if it is like getting lifted then it will be good for all of us and you can then come and make fun of me but this is what my hunch is like it's based on you know different things which has been happening around and the likelihood is that the ban is going to extend you can plan your you know journey according to this i booked my tickets from abu dhabi in october because uh, abu dhabi is providing covid test facility at the airport during 6 hours layover you shouldn't book from delhi as of now because layover is not sufficient enough for uh, 
covid testing it has been confirmed by the etihad staff in this video and then this also like this is just only specific for abu dhabi and delhi uh, delhi to toronto route possibility so you can just like go through these videos and see that why they are reasoning that flights from delhi to abu dhabi are not possible whereas like and they also tweeted saying something like they are allowing people from all the cities except delhi uh, because delhi doesn't have sufficient transit time so you can go and check these videos if you want and yeah that's all i have to say for uh, in this video if i come across any news or something then i will create one more video or i'll just update somewhere yeah thanks for watching if you like the video or if it, or if it help you in some way you can subscribe so that i will get to know that people are watching it <laughs> and i will uh, you know get the motivation to make more videos if you don't want to subscribe then it's fine just take care thank you bye bye